Highgate Dairy Farm in Newport has been in the organic business for 10 years. They have felt the economic crunch in recent years, but remain steadfast on the benefits of their organic products. We love what we do. We love our animals and we love nature. So we would just want to try to keep doing what we're doing. Three years ago, several massive dairy buyers like Horizon Organic and Maple Hill Creamery terminated contracts with local dairy farmers. Many organic dairy farms in the Northeast were left in distress. From that, the Northeast Organic Family Farm Partnership was formed, and that group, NOFFP, is the driving force behind this grant money. This is a, a way of leveraging the most powerful a force there is in uh, growing organic in our region, and that's consumer choice. Half of the $1.2 million comes from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. The other half was matched by local business partners like Stonyfield Organic and Londonderry, all in an effort to increase awareness and demand from consumers to revitalize the organic milk industry. They will do things to create long-term impact for farms, such as installing organic milk dispensers in schools. And for consumers looking at organic products in stores, Hirschberg equates that choice to voting. Whether you're buying uh, organic dairy at your college cafeteria or your business cafeteria or your convenience store or your supermarket, uh, those votes really count and that's how we will take and grow uh, the next 127 farms in our region. When you buy organic milk off the shelf, you are definitely supporting New Hampshire's organic farmers. Stonyfield Organic says they buy 200 million pounds of organic milk annually, all from the Northeast, provided by about 10,000 organic cows. And in case you are wondering, to be considered an organic farm, cows must have access to 180 days in the pasture each year with no antibiotic or growth hormones used. Jamie Staten, WMUR News 9.